5 Reasons Why D3JS Is The Best Framework For Data Visualization Data visualization is a lot like making a pizza. So, which kind of pizza chef are you? Do you want only the best, gourmet, stone-cooked masterpiece? Or are you happy with a pre-prepared frozen pizza warmed up in the microwave? This is the difference between Chart.js and D3.js. Welcome to Kofi Group. We're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers. On a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. Our videos cover hiring tips and strategies for startups, software engineering, data science, interview preparation, salary negotiation, remote work, recruitment tips, and much more. Subscribe now for the latest software engineering and machine learning insights, invaluable hiring tips, and the best career building advice on YouTube. Also, make sure you stick around to the end for some bonus industry info that you won't find anywhere else online. So back to our pizza data visualization analogy. With Chart.js, it's just a matter of picking your preference out of the frozen food aisle of your local supermarket, driving home and microwaving for five minutes. Or if you're feeling fancy, trawl through your local pizzeria's menu and have your pizza order delivered to your door. What that really means is, when it comes to Chart.js, all you have to do is go into the documentation, choose whatever graph you want, then copy and paste the code into your HTML or React render function. Input the data into the given fields and you're good to go. Visualization fast food. D3.js, not so much. The first thing to do with this framework is to turn on your oven and preheat to 450 Fahrenheit. We're going all out and making a pizza just like Mama used to make. We're cutting up the tomatoes and basil and cooking them down to make our own sauce. We're mixing flour, yeast, and water into the dough before kneading it and tossing it into the air to make the base. We've been to the fresh produce aisle in the butcher and have the ingredients on hand to make a truly delicious pizza. In D3JS, you have to follow a recipe. You have to set your X and Y axis, the data path, the legend, the labels, the responsiveness, the interactivity, everything from scratch. Not only that, you have to follow the method in order to make sure all the parts, the ingredients, work to end up with a truly great graph. The culinary pièce de résistance. What is D3JS? In short, D3JS is a seemingly limitless JavaScript library that allows you to create extremely aesthetically appealing charts and graphs with a relatively skinny amount of code. It's the framework you use when you want the wow factor and not the meh factor. The three Ds in D3JS stand for data-driven documents. It's a combination of scalable vector graphics, HTML5, and cascading style sheets that brings true customization to web browser visualizations, the spiritual successor to Protovis. D3.js is built on this framework, but with a focus more on web standards, increased expressibility, and drastically improved performance. What is D3 used for? You don't really just get to build things right out of the box with D3.js. There is a notoriously sharp learning curve associated with this framework. The confusing mix of method chains, weird-looking syntax, and black box functions can be daunting at first. But oh, what they can create. Every time you see a truly weird-looking graphical representation of data, that's D3.js. When you have the ability to click on a chart featured on a website to flip around parameters or for a flexible comparison, again, D3.js. When you see those amazing interactive visual stories on blogs or news sites, this is what's possible with D3.js and why it's such a powerful, albeit difficult, framework. Learning D3.js is for those people who want to have both web development and JavaScript programming skills in their repertoire. D3.js is hands down the more influential and creative tool for building interactive data visualizations, bar none. Do you have any experience with D3.js or Chart.js? Type D3.js into the comments section below and tell us all about it. Also, keep watching to the end to learn what having D3.js experience will do for you salary-wise. Pros, everyone is using it. There are so many great examples of D3.js utilization around the web. 
Don't be apprehensive about taking ideas or inspiration from what you see and like during your time browsing on the web. Better yet, there are curated lists of amazing D3JS examples on GitHub for you to riffle through at your own leisure. Just make sure that if you are reusing parts of someone else's code, you give credit where credit is due. Fantastic community. Interestingly, that brings us to another great thing D3JS has going for it. Being open source, the community is similarly helpful and vibrant, just the same as you'd find with other open source programming languages. D3JS itself has been community forked over 9,000 times, with plenty of free extension resources and third-party wrapper libraries to make your time spent creating visualizations in D3JS that much easier and even more customizable. Unrivaled Flexibility D3JS has the flexibility to display data pretty much however you want. Looking to plot out where LeBron James sinks buckets from? overlaid onto a representation of half a basketball court? It's been done. Better yet, the code is available on GitHub. The only limit is your imagination, really, and your ability to manipulate the D3JS to accomplish your vision. Highly desirable skill set. Because D3JS is so widely used and used for such a crazy variety of applications, naturally it's quite the feather to have in your cap when looking for roles in the programming and development industries. Though a tech job may not intrinsically ask for experience in D3JS, it's not a bad idea at all to flex that knowledge muscle in an interview, as there will always be a need to portray information and data for your future employer's website, or for the clients, in a dazzling and engaging way. Low-Key Web Dev Skills You came to learn D3JS to make pretty charts and graphics, but you left with basic JavaScript and HTML5. Because D3JS has to be built from scratch, you get to use the syntax involved with these programming languages. So you're killing two birds with one stone. Three even. D3JS manipulates elements on the document object model. So you learn how to show items on a web page. It's the same with JavaScript as you need to type your commands to set parameters within the visualization. Cons. The difficulty. D3JS is no joke. It's not child's play in the same way that Chart.js is, and requires some serious thought and time invested to get the hang of it. There isn't really a great tutorial in the official documentation, and although not required, previous web dev experience is a major advantage and will ensure you have a much better time when first using the framework. The speed. It stands to reason that a framework as complex and customizable as D3JS will have some sort of performance bottleneck somewhere down the line. When dealing with really large datasets, D3JS can reduce down to a snail's pace and can act like a bit of a speed bump while waiting for it to do its thing. Poor mapping. So it's not great for working with maps. Things like adding locations onto a map or shaded areas, sure. But the panning and zooming can be extremely janky and buggy when allowing the user to pull and manipulate the map with their finger or mouse. Base documentation. The community is great and all, but the base documentation of D3JS leaves much to be desired. The innovative visualization libraries are fine for basic to intermediate applications, but the really high level stuff, all we have to say is, we're thankful for the GitHub community. It takes time. The double-edged sword to having full customization and being able to make something from scratch is that it just takes time. If you want a quick chart or visual, then go use Chart.js. You won't have the variety of options, but you will have your chart done and dusted in no time. Are you interested in a D3JS career path? Have you already started learning D3JS? Type learn in the comments section below and share. How does D3JS compare to Chart.js? If cooking isn't your jam, you can think of it like the Apple versus Android smartphone rivalry. Chart.js is Apple here, extremely high quality products that are intuitive and designed for any user with a smooth and polished OS and interface. Then there's D3JS, Android. This is the route you take when you want flexibility, customization, and full control over a display. These are for relatively experienced users only, as there are fewer safety nets in the settings compared to Apple. 
If you want well-explained documentation, an easy-to-understand JavaScript package, speed, and the ability to dump your data straight into HTML5 or a front-end framework like React, go with Chart.js. It's like enabling easy mode. Conversely, if you want to create true art and want to experience the roller coaster of emotions and frustrations that come with being an artist, then D3JS is for you. Who's using D3JS? The answer is everyone, because it can be integrated into JavaScript, React, Angular, React Native, and a bunch of others. D3JS has become extremely popular when making high-end landing pages for websites. The ability to click on the graphics and take a virtual tour is in vogue right now and imparts a polished, professional look and feel to any online traffic browsing. We'll say it before and we'll say it again. D3JS and Chart.js are very different beasts. For a quick visual, the frozen pizza, so to speak, Chart.js is your go-to tool. But for those true experienced gourmets looking to cook something truly delicious and fast food just won't do, D3JS is the framework for you. Congratulations, you made it to our bonus segment. Thanks for staying tuned in. As a special reward, we're going to share some salary information with you all. As we said earlier, the ability to work with D3JS and work well with it may not be a strict prerequisite for landing that role you're after. But the additional web dev skills that come along with that D3JS knowledge are highly valued in the industry. Across the board, whether it be a software engineer, front-end developer, or any other development or coding type role, we saw a salary increase of between 10 to 25% when that salary included a D3JS skill set as part of the requirements. So what are you waiting for? Learn D3JS. We hope you enjoyed five reasons why D3JS is the best framework for data visualization. If you learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments if there's any recruitment, technology, or startup specific content you want us to cover next. What's your experience with TypeScript? Check out our video called TypeScript and 7 Things You Need to Know About It. To be the first to see other amazing recruitment, employment, and startup strategy videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. At Kofi Group, we're the executive recruitment specialists, dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis, with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. We help startups outcompete Fang, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and Big Tech in the highly competitive war for talent. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers and startups, contact Kofi Group today.